Good morning, 47. Your target is the infamous serial killer known as the Censor, with a flair for the theatrical. The Censor acts as an examiner who grades his victims based on how much they struggle for their lives. The true identity of the Censor is unfortunately unknown, but the discovery of two recent victims indicates he's now exploring Whittleton Creek, Vermont, in search of prey. We only have a limited window of opportunity here, 47. Find the sensor and make sure he never grades anyone again. Best of luck. Welcome to Vermont, 47. The sensor should be somewhere in Whittleton Creek, looking for a potential new victim. He will likely seek out places where people are gathered, so I suggest you look for crowded areas. So, we left the party. Now are you gonna tell me who freaked you out back there? So, while you were inside, I was standing in the garden minding my own business. Suddenly, this weird-looking fella, whom I've never seen before, comes up right next to me and whispers in my ear, I think you're a B-. minus." Then he just walks off! Jesus! What a freak! Right? What kind of weirdo would use the GPA scale to rate people's looks? You use the 10-point scale. Everybody knows that. Besides, honey, you are a straight 10. <laughs> we both are. I know. I'm definitely not a B-. minus. That's like a 6 or something. Well, maybe he was guessing at your blood type? That's even more creepy. Why the hell would he do that? I don't know. It could be a fetish or something. Look, do, you, do you want me to confront him about it, honey? No. Let's just... Stand out here for a while. I'm still a bit shocked. I am not a six. Why don't we just bust him now? We don't have enough on him. We literally have a picture right here on our computer of the guy leaving the last murder scene. What more do you want? Do we have to catch him in action with a bone saw in one hand and a severed foot in the other? That would actually help the prosecution build a case, yes. Man, that grill smells really good. Why is it always Brian who goes undercover? He gets to munch on burgers in there while we have to stay here and bore ourselves to death. We're on the verge of catching a serial killer red-handed, and you're bored? Really? Really? And Brian is not in there to eat burgers. He's in there to make sure the sensor doesn't get away with it this time. Besides, Brian has a forgettable, normal face. You don't. That's why he's undercover. What, you're saying my face isn't normal? Oh, that's really nice, Charles. Really nice. I'm saying you have distinctive features. It's a compliment, Dave. Oh. Oh, well, OK. Thanks. Well, you too, man. It seems you're not the only one hunting the sensor, 47. The agent's hands are tied for now. Luckily, yours are not. If you can gain access to their computer, you should find some information on their prime suspect. This might be the place, 47. A garden party would be the ideal location for the sensor to identify his next victim. Ironically, this is exactly what you should do as well. Jeez. So, what do you make of this sensor character? I don't know. I mean, why is the media calling him the censor? He doesn't censor anything. He grades people. Wouldn't it be more fitting to call him the evaluator? Yes, clearly. It's quite frustrating, actually. But what do you think about him? Any idea what drives a man like that? Maybe he actually is an evaluator. 
I mean, I would also feel like killing someone if I had to grade high school essays all day, but he's probably just a sadist who loves to see people suffer. I don't think it's that. Oh. So, let me hear your theory. I think he's looking for someone who will challenge their fate. Maybe he sees that everybody has the potential to be a killer, and he wants his victims to realize and act out that potential. That is an oddly specific theory. Oh, well, it's just a theory. Your humor is, well, it's Good an acquired you. taste. <laughs> Oh, funny. Good party. <laughs> I find the people here interesting. <clears throat> Don't you? Very interesting indeed. Oh. And you, sir, you look quite interesting yourself. Oh, so I'm told. I can imagine. God. You look like you someone so with potential. Rude. Would you we like to participate in a test I'm planning to conduct? No. But why not? Ever again. Don't you like Later. testing yourself? You have to think about your whole life as a test. Even this conversation could be a test without you knowing it. Maybe I'm not the only one being tested. Oh, I like you, sir. I'll be around. So, did you know if a statue in the park of a person... Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Very good about it. All right, here, here's, a, here's, a, here's a fact for you. If you pass gas consistently for six years and nine months, Enough gas will be produced to create the energy of an atomic bomb. That's one pretty long fart, though. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, funny. You're, um, you're quite the comedian. <clears throat> Your humor is, well, it's an acquired taste. <laughs> uh, funny. <laughs> Joy, laughter. <clears throat> oh, I hate it when you're like this. <laughs> You're my worst friend. Whatever. You are obviously not mature enough to talk about these things. But I'm a nice person and I... Well, I really don't like you. But I respect you, okay? Let's just leave it there. You shouldn't waste your life looking down at your phone. You never know how much time you have left. A lot more than you if you're in the habit of condescendingly telling strangers what to do. Hey, you never know when you'll run into some psychopath and piss him off. Oh, you're definitely right about that. Good. I'm glad we agree. It's not cool to go around judging strangers. I would never judge. I only grade. Sorry, what? Nothing. Well, maybe. But you have to admit there is something slightly off with that. I think that sort of thing is a pleasant experience for everyone else. No rest, honey. Hmm. I'll give the activities in this calendar a D minus. The serial killer known as the censor, who grades his victims based on how much they struggled, has struck again in Montpelier, Vermont. The latest victim, a retired firefighter, received the highest grade so far, a B minus. And FBI profilers theorize that the killer may stop only once he encounters an A plus. This has led psychologists, such as the renowned Oscar Lafayette, to conclude that the censor harbors a death wish and may long to be killed by one of his would-be victims. Until then, citizens of Vermont are strongly advised to lock their doors and resist the urge for vigilantism and misplaced heroics. It's terrifying. How come the censor hasn't been caught yet? Anybody could be this psycho's next victim. Don't worry, citizen. I'm pretty sure the authorities are closing in on him and watching over you. Don't worry. I'm sorry, but who the hell are you? And did you just call me citizen? Hey, I... I was just trying to make conversation to reassure you. I'm sorry. Bye! He's not. 
not touching the buffet. Not even the salad bar. But be ready. Did you know that the largest flower in the world is the Rathlesia arnoldi? Surprisingly, it is a parasitic plant that grows only on Sumatra, Indonesia. I mean, it smells like rotting meat, so <laughs> it's not very popular at weddings and funerals. But I like that smell. And actually, it reminded me a bit of you. Is that your cologne? <laughs> With a hint of mold and stale meat? Oh my god, that is so amazing. Wow, I can't believe my ears. Come on, do you really think I'm that stupid? Do you believe that shit yourself? If so, you're even more half-witted than I thought. You have absolutely no reason to be rude. I know more stuff than you will ever know. Because your eyes are not open to the real world. I see the world as it is. I see the truth. Okay, okay, oh, all right, all right. Let's, um, let's just forget this, okay? I, I thought you were joking, but... Obviously not. I'm just really sorry. So let's just move on from here, okay? I was thinking to get those Botox injections in my pay. Wow, I can't believe my ears. You should really think about Sir, would you mind telling me about the other guests? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. It's quite simple. What are the people at the party like? You see, I'm not from around here, and I'd love to get a sense of what kind of folks I'm dealing with. Oh, uh, well, the couple who's hosting the party actually just moved here, and... I'm sorry, who are you again? I'm Joseph Gorski. And what are you doing here? I'm looking for someone. Who? I'm not sure yet. Someone with potential. Oh, are you a, a talent scout or something? Of sorts. I'm looking for someone to play an important role in my latest project. Tell me, are you a fighter or a quitter? Oh, I'm definitely a, a fighter, sir. <laughs> you can count on that. Fate heart never won fair lady, you know. <laughs> Great. You're certainly on my list of candidates now. You should keep an eye on this one, 47. If you pass gas, you may be. Nine months. Enough. Did you hear about the V2K technology? Voice to skull, it's called, or silent sound spread spectrum. Maybe you saw that? No? Well, the thing is, it's used to impose mind control. Yeah, no oh shit. It's a secret Pentagon psychotronic technology that will instantly force the population into submission. It could easily result in the takeover of society without a single bullet being fired. Amazing, isn't it? Um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not really really sure uh, uh, you know what you're, what you're saying here is, 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 is that is that supposed to be a joke or what I, I don't get it I would never use that tone with you if you came with something on your mind never you are rude and obnoxious hey come on it wasn't meant like that I, I'm sorry I, 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 I really am People always plan for the future. They really shouldn't. You look kind of lost. Are you okay? Yeah, everything's great. What's it to you? I didn't mean to bother you. You just seemed bored. Okay, I am. This party, I don't know. It's just... Suffocating. These people. If I have to listen to one more man talk to me about landscaping, I am going to blow my brains out. I just want something to happen, you know? Anything, as long as it's something real. Something intense, exciting, or dangerous even. 
I wouldn't care if it killed me as long as it made me feel something. Maybe I can help you with that. But I already have other candidates on my list, so I can't promise anything. I'll get back to you. I was thinking to get those Botox injections in my face. <laughs> this happens to be one of the most acutely lethal toxins you known to really man. Looking you may sharp, gradually sir. lose your ability to make facial expressions. Ah, interesting. What are you not willing to do to lose a few years? I sorry, no less. Just move on. I was thinking to get those Botox injections in my face. <laughs> this happens to be one of the most acutely lethal toxins known to man. And you may gradually lose your ability to make facial expressions. But hey, what are you not willing to do to lose a few years, right? <laughs> Can I opt not to answer or even comment on that? Actually, no. <laughs> okay, let me just comment real quick. You speak crazy, you hear me? I mean, real, genuinely loco shit. <laughs> wow, crazy. Why are you always being so mean? I can hardly get my head around thought we were supposed to be friends. Oh my God, you are so rude. We are done talking. In fact, I will never engage in any conversation with you ever again. Later, idiot. Checking in again. Guest of honor still hasn't sunk his teeth in any beef. You know those things will... Yeah, I know. The thing is, I tried to stop, but then I learned something about myself. I ain't no quitter. Besides, you gotta die of something. You learned that about yourself, huh? Must be nice having such a clear understanding of yourself and such a relaxed relationship with your own mortality. So, one way to go is as good as another? Uh, yeah, more or less. Interesting. We should test that theory at some point. What? This has to be oh, our man, 47. You have potential. Hmm, looks like someone is home alone next week. Maybe he would like a visit. So, have you made a decision? Afraid not. I'm still considering who would be best for the part. Would you mind a follow-up question? Oh, not at all. If you had to grade your life, what would you give it? Oh, that's, that's easy. I'd give myself an A. If I were to get the part, I would, I would pump it up to an A+. Uh, what exactly is the part about, if you don't mind me asking? Don't worry. You'll see. You, maybe. I can hardly get my head around half of it. Hey, don't let me forget to... So, did you know if a statue in the park of a person on a horse has both front legs in the air, the person died in the battle? If the horse has one front leg in the air, the person died as a result of the wounds received in battle. If the horse has all four legs on the ground, the person died of natural causes. Isn't that just amazing? Sorry, I wasn't really listening. It's just when you get that certain expression on your face, I know that the things you say now will be utter gibberish. Are you being a smart-ass now? <laughs> You're all smug and, oh, I'm so smart. Shit, look at yourself. You're a sorry excuse that can only point out faults with other people. You suck. All right, I take it back. Don't freak out like that. Jesus, I'm sorry, okay? Forget about it. You know how to do the rapid. It's me. Guest of honor hasn't filled his plate yet. Oh, it's you again. Were you serious when you told me you had something more exciting for me than this dull party? Or was it just a bad attempt at a pickup line? I was quite serious. And? And I haven't made up my mind yet. Unfortunately, I can't tell you what it is. That would ruin it. 
Do you know how to get a rough estimate of the temperature? Well, one thing at a time, though. Count the number of times. <laughs> Very <laughs> dapper. I'm starting to worry that our guest of honor isn't even hungry today. Over. Here's a, here's a, here's a fact for you. Excuse me, but I'm considering buying a place nearby. Could you tell me about the people who live here? Who, me? Huh? I... Oh! Uh, I don't know anyone around here. <laughs> We're heading to the Maldives. I mean, I, of course I know some people around here. I mean, otherwise, I mean, why would I be at a party? You should really think about going to That wouldn't I mean, make sense. genuinely loco shit. <laughs> wow. Crazy. I was being serious. Okay, so who do you know here then? Oh. Who do I know here? Who do I know here? Well, I'm getting to know you. I mean, I'm, I'm knowing, I know you right now, right? Aren't I? God. We're talking. We're talking. So you know. Rude. See, we that's exactly why I find you people out here in the suburbs so fascinating. It's like you're all hiding again. something. Later. I'm pretty Not sure bad. half the guests here well, you know, aren't who they say age, they are. I feel right at home. Oh, well, you should see if the administration would let you guys fast track. Yeah, that's really something. Hey, that reminds me, you afraid of your home in 4K? HDR? You must, right? Friends. Now, I could give you the info for the guy who read it out. In hindsight, I can't even believe we may do... I'm so thrilled that those occult scientists at the Large Hadron Collider in Switzerland have actually succeeded in reviving the ancient Egypt god Osiris, god of the dead. They actually built a stargate. They even have a statue of Shiva outside the lab. I just Ooh, love the way sir? modern science and technology fuses together with the occult. It's about time, hmm? What the fuck are you talking about? Don't put on that tone with me. I scored an IQ in the high 60s. You are very disrespectful. Okay, 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 relax. I just didn't get what you were saying. That's my sort of thing. Get it now. Richard, I'm just around the corner. We were actually competing for this place, if you can believe it. It would be the dumbest idea on the planet. Yeah. You know what? I love you, but you know... Look at this schedule. What dull, monotonous lives these middle-aged suburban dwellers lead. Good thing I'm here. Maybe I should go out and check on those birds. What do you think about this serial killer? They say he's a monster. I've seen worse. Really? I doubt that. He's killed over 15 people. That sounds pretty bad to me. You have no idea. I bet you wouldn't be so tough if you were ever alone with the censor. I think he would get real creative with you. Oh, I have a few ideas of my own. You're very confident. Standing face to face with a killer? Are you really ready for that? Don't worry. I can only point out faults with other people. You suck. All right, to take it back. Don't freak out like that, Jesus. You're no Sorry, A plus. Okay? Forget about it. That is not cool. Put that away. Not it. That was an A plus. The money is being transferred. Now to find an exit. <laughs> 